what we did in the previous file is we took the information right here and we found out the average of each line. So the average of this line would be 100, the average of this line would be 75, so on and so forth. And you can see the results printed right here. Instead of using scanner split of the scanner class, what I want to use is the string split method, which will do a similar split just like the scanner class can do. So instead of right here, we're going to say string split, and that's going to be the name of our array. What split returns is an array of strings. And so we say split equals file.nextLine, which in this case would be this line right here. And then we want to split that line into its individual components. So we just say the method name, which is split. And then inside of there, we're going to use a delimiter. And in this case, it's just the white space. We're just going to say, anytime there's a white space right there, I'm going to split it. So what the array would look like, the zeroth index would be 100. The first index would be 100. Second, 100, and third, 100. Or in this case, the zeroth index would be 100. And the first index would be 50. One of the advantages of doing it this way is that when this split becomes an array, we know the size of the array. So instead of using a while loop here, we can use for loop. So it would say for int z equals zero. Z is less than split dot length. Then we say z plus plus. So that's going to iterate through the array of strings that we just created. Then what we want to do is we want to pull out first piece of data inside of our array. Well, that would be the zeroth array of that line split. So instead of using a method of the scanner class, we're going to treat it like an array that it is. And we'll say split sub i, which will then iterate through all of the data inside of the data set. But the problem with doing it this way is this data type is a string. It's hard to add strings together and then divide them by a, an integer count. So what we have to do is we have to take this string and convert it into an integer. And the way we do that is we use the parse int method of the integer class. So we say integer dot parse int. And now we would be able to sum this value using it as an integer instead of concatenating it as a string. Sum wouldn't allow you to store it anyway because it's an integer. So now we can finish our program, compile it, and then run it. Now you can see that I get this odd error about number format exception. And it might drive you crazy trying to figure out what it is. And what it is, is when I split the data, you notice that I have two spaces right here inside of the data. This just shows you some of the problems with taking in input. It doesn't like that extra space. So when I delete that extra space and I save it, and I run the file, notice everything goes okay, except for array out of bounds. And the reason I get that array out of bounds is that this is not supposed to be I right here. I am looping through split, and I wanna loop through split using Z, not I, not the outer loop, I'm using the inner loop. So now when I run the program, I get my averages as I want them. So you can see the difference between using the split method of the string class and splitting with the scanner class. Notice when you split using the string, you have to convert that string into the data type you would like. And always be careful of your data sets that they're being inputted in the correct manner.